choose two online tutorials. Today we're going to cover how to start your disease family tree PowerPoint project. Uh, step number one, if you're going to save anything, you're going to save that to your student folder. So make sure you click on go, connect to server, and then log on to your graduation year. Your uh, username again is your ID number and your password is your last name and your birth day, not the month or year, but the uh, day that you were born. Next, you're going to create a outline using inspiration. So that application will either be down on the dock or you can click on the hard drive, go to applications, scroll down to the eyes, and it should say inspiration eight is the application that we're using and double click on that and that will launch the program. That's gonna bring up a diagram outline and open file box. You're gonna start with a diagram and it's gonna put the main idea in the middle and again that's gonna be your name so your full first and last name and then you're gonna put in the name of your disease whatever it is a communicable non-communicable disease. You need to do seven family members you're gonna research I'll show you a great tool here to get started with your concept map. This create button at the top, wherever a green circle highlights, that's where the next location is going to go. So if you were going to do your parents, you would click on uh, down left, maybe for your mom's side, click back on you, down to the right. Grandparents are just that easy, click down right, down center. And your last two family members, maybe your grandparents on your mom's side, click one left and one straight down. And again, to get that to look finished, and again, you have to have a different level for each generation, click on arrange. You have a top down tree. It will look like this diagram when you're finished. Click OK. And then you have your level, your parents, and then your grand grandparents. If you choose to do extra credit, which we'll talk about in the next tutorial, you have to do that as fourth generation. So if you put a great grandparent down, maybe on your mom's and your dad's side, that fourth generation down, you can do two of those for extra credit, and those information slides are five points apiece. If you wanted to do different family members than what I have here, if you did a brother or sister, for example, once this outline is done, click back on the level that you want and add in another circle. So if I was going to do a brother or sister, I could throw one off of the same level as myself. If you were going to do an aunt or uncle, you would put a click on your mom or dad's side and you could put a branch off from there. So you'll notice it's got to be at the same level that you are uh, creating it. And for information in the circles again put in first and last name so don't just put mom in the name of the disease if you know the maiden name for your mom's side even better and stay as biological as you can for your outline once you are completely done this is going to go into slide number two of your PowerPoint project and the way you do that once it's completed you go up to edit do select all go up to edit again and copy it then within your PowerPoint project, again, that would be slide number two. So I'm going to insert a new slide. And slide number two, then, I want that to be blank. So I'm going to look at the format of the slide. And then that would be slide layout. And this slide layout, I'm just going to click a blank one and go up to uh, edit and paste. And then slide number two is my inspiration outline. And you can make that whatever size you want, crop it in there so it fits. And then that is your table of contents. Again, in our next tutorial, we will show you how to make each one of those circles an active hyperlink for your project. Last thing on the introduction here, we'll talk about your title page. Again, I'm going to change the format of that to be a side-by-side. -side. Your topic at the top is disease family tree. And that will be the same for everybody. Your text on that side, you need your name, my name, our room number, and the date. And this is actually going to be a picture. Again, any family pictures are extra credit. So if you had a family photo of yourself or of each individual family member, those are one point apiece for extra credit. When you are done with your 
PowerPoint each day, make sure you do a file, save as, and put that into your student folder. Same thing with your inspiration slide before it is saved to your PowerPoint. You want to save that as well. Do file, save as, and put that into your student folder. Save that final project as your last name only, and we will turn that in electronically uh, at the due date. We won't present these in class. You'll turn them in to me individually, and I will grade those. On your PowerPoint itself, a great way to get started, again, is to find the school website. All the directions are under the left-hand side where it says PowerPoints. We're going to add some of our video tutorials here, but the uh, outline is under Disease PowerPoint Directions. All right, so Roman numeral one is decide which seven family members you're going to research. Roman numeral two, create an outline using inspiration. Don't worry about the three concepts under each family member. We're going to do that within your PowerPoint slide. Your title page again, your name, my name, our room number, and the date. You can just use the health room for the room number. And then your information slides have to have three concepts or three paragraphs underneath each page. And first one is the definition of the family member's worst disease. Again, that could be a communicable or non-communicable disease. Paragraphs two and three then, you can pick from any of these topics. Maybe it's the treatment and prevention of the illness, or maybe it's the symptoms and the statistics of the disease. So inside PowerPoint then, if I was doing a third slide would be insert a new one. If this was my first info slide, it would be the uh, family member's name. Your text box then, 20 point font, paragraph form with no bullets. You need to have three paragraphs, disease first, and then your second two paragraphs. And then again, you can add in a picture or a graphic from uh, each file. Talks about your Works Cited page. You should have two internet resources and two book resources. Your information slides, make sure they're 20 point font, paragraph form with no bullets. Every slide must have a graphic picture or chart on it except for your Works Cited page. Extra credit options, last thing. Uh, video is five points. We'll show you how to do that in another tutorial. You could have two additional information slides. Great grandparents, they're five points each. And then your family pictures on your inspiration or your information slides are one point apiece. Uh, final project, 50 points. Title page five, inspiration five. Each info information slide, five points. Work cited page, five points as well. And that is it. When you're completely done again, save your final project as your last name to the student folder. And we'll be turning those into the uh, shared folder for Mr. Nichols at the due date. That's it.